Hello, this is Starstorm here. I'm going to be making a guide on how to get a zebra. Thing, thing over there. Of course, everyone knows what a zebra is. Just in case. And this is for version 1.6.2, which is slightly different than version 1.5.2. With because of Minecraft uh, getting horses, it's a little bit more difficult, and some horses you cannot get now because of this for some weird reason that that will be talked about in the second episode. This is we the first of two episodes of this horse bre breeding. You know, insert. I don't have all the colors, but I'll show you the chart of all the colors of horses that you can get and how to obtain certain colors that you normally can't get and how to go th uh, through and get the zebra. Anyways, here. This is the skew ball. The Blotchy, or on uh, the gray and white splotchy horse. As you can see, this is the more creatures horse. So you can see tell by the eyes, and that's to spawn this one. You would have to go with spawn wild horse. Oh, I got a zebra, and maybe it won't to spawn. And there you go. And then spawn horse will get the vanilla. See how you get this color, uh, this type of eye versus this type of eye. Don't want that horse, but oh well. And then here's the brown horse. You're gonna be using this one. The paint or pie ball. They're the same same type of horse. I call it paint, but you can also call it pie ball. The black horses. Which you can use any other variation of horses. I I just picked black horse to show the coloration. So you can there's different uh, one other one I believe. It would have like little black spots right here. You can use this one, this one, or this one, or any other color va variation for or the breeding. It'll produce the same color. And Pinto. This color horse. Chart says cow horse. Everyone calls it cow horse. I call it Pinto. And then here's the other brown horses, the dark brown and the light brown. These two you're not going to be using, but here's the different int uh, shades of brown. And you're not going to be using these, but how in the world did a creeper get in here? Good thing I'm on creative, otherwise I would probably blow up. I don't understand how it spawns in here when everything is this wooden plank, birch wood, or whatever. Is that the donkey and the mule? Of course, everyone knows how to make a, a mule. And of course, the zebras. And then how to make the horses, breed these horses, we have the vanilla brown horse and the skew ball with the more, more creatures mod. Hold on, I'll get this. What you're going to need is a pumpkin and a golden apple. 
to make these make a baby. So just feed the vanilla, the golden apple, and the more creatures with a pumpkin, and we'll see these hearts floating around. That means you're are successful. In order to successfully breed, you have to keep these eight tiles away from other horses and within a four by four radius of each other. This is actually a four by five. One, two, three, four, five. Never mind, four by six, but it's fine. As long as they stay close to each other. You could be a creep and watch them. I'm not going to, I'm just going to leave them alone. And so I'm not going to be wasting my time by watching these those guys. I'm going to show you. The skewbald and the brown will should produce uh, the paint or piebald, whichever one you want to call it. And then after that, you n need to take the paint and braid with the black horse. Either one of these doesn't matter. And that will produce the pinto. And then you take the pinto, you hop on it, and see if that zebra is still there. Yeah. No, it despawned. Oh well. That doesn't matter. You could still do with the tamed. So you're going to need the apple or you can use the wheat. Split. You go over to it. The zebra. And you feed it the apple, and you have tamed zebra. And all you have to do is put a saddle on it and start. You can ride it. Oh, and with the more creatures, you have to use the crafted saddle and a vanilla with this regular saddle. Let's put you back. On the offspring of a vanilla and a more creature horse will always be the more creature ho horse. So if you want a black horse to have the more creatures um, eyes, you just take the cow horse and the black horse, and you should get the, the black black one. Personally, I do like the vanilla horses a little bit better. Even though the more creatures look better, but these run faster than than the more creatures. Put this bit. This thing is so annoying. <sighs> Shoot that. Yeah, that's that for while we wait for those to finish. When when you you'll know when they produce a baby and you get an option to name a pet. Since you don't have that, they haven't bred yet. So in order, here's the chart that I will link in the description and how to read it. You'll just take choose. Let's say you want this. Um, I'll see. We'll take the piebald, as you can see. To get the pinto, you just move your mouse down, and here's the horse. If you breed it with the white, as you can see, you'll get the overall, or however you pronounce that. And with the dark brown, you get the splotchy pot skew bald and then with a black one you just move the mouse to here so you just match up the colors and you'll get what it'll produce 
And with the more creatures spawner, the wild horse spawn egg, you'll get the skewbald, the palomino, the chestnut, and the zebra. All the other colors you see here will be of the uh, just the normal horse spawn egg or the vanilla Minecraft horse. And you'll need to use a more creatures and a vanilla just to get the colors you need. Because if you use, let's say, you want to get this horse, but you only, only have this one and this one, if you, you try to get this horse, you, you'll only get this color and or this color. Mainly this color. Or if you just use the vanilla Minecraft horses. Oh, it's done. So you can go see what color this produced. Sometimes you'll get the colors of the parents, but you should be able to get the paint. Uh, I got the skew bald instead of the paint. Oh well. In order to breed them again, you have to get this one out of here. In order to get these to breed it. There's no cute... Um, no cooldown on these. There's only a cool cooldown for the vanilla Minecraft horses. <sighs> oh well, we don't need to deal with that right now. We're not going to go through that whole type of breeding process. It takes forever. Of course, to get the mule, you just get a horse in here and breed with the donkey. Anyways, that's all for this one. I think I didn't leave anything out. If you have any questions, just feel free to ask in the comments. And I sh shall answer. Stay tuned for the second episode where you'll s see these guys.